Hello and welcome. Let me greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am Mrs. Nomangisi Tabete and I am from Matapa Eswatini. We are going to read the word of God and our topic today is when we pray, God is moved. When we pray, God is moved. Our scripture today is taken from 2 Chronicles chapter 33 verse 12 to 13 and it reads, In his distress, he sought the favor of the Lord his God and humbled himself greatly before the God of his ancestors. And when he prayed to him, the Lord was moved by his entreaty and listened to his plea. So he brought him back to Jerusalem and to his kingdom. Then Manasseh knew that the Lord is God. Where we read from, this is a story of a king called Manasseh. Manasseh was King Hezekiah's son. And we all know that King Hezekiah was a faithful king. He loved God, he worshipped God, and he served God. But Manasseh was a total opposite to his father. He was so cruel and evil. He was not faithful to God. And he did things that angered God so much. The scripture says Manasseh started to worship pagan gods. He turned the people, the Israelites, away from God. And they also started to worship these pagan gods. He erected temples for these foreign gods. And he even carved the images of these foreign gods. Of course, God was not happy about that. He sent his prophets to warn the king Manasseh about this. But the king and his people just did not listen to God. So the Bible says, after that, Manasseh committed the cruelest of, his, of all his crimes. And he started to even kill the prophets of the Lord. So now God was so angry at his, all his evil actions. And he led him to be attacked by the Assyrians. The Bible says when the Assyrians came to attack this king, they attacked him and they captured King Manasseh. They put a ring on his nose and they dragged him with that ring like an animal and they took him to captivity. We all know how they are going to treat him in captivity and it was so bad. The Bible says he was humiliated while he was captured. So now what happened is where we read today is that when Manasseh was in distress, when he was captured, when he was away from his home, he then sought the favor of the Lord, sought the favor of the same Lord he had sinned against. What we read today and what is wonderful about the scripture today, it says that God was moved, God was touched. When his child prayed and cried to him, he was touched. Others said he was moved. Others say he, he welcomed his plea. He even responded favorably. That is the God that we worship today. This is the God I present to you today. That no matter what you have done to him, no matter how much evil you have committed against him, he is not going to hold that against you. But you must just come to him and plead uh, with him and cry to him and he is going to be moved. Moved. It doesn't matter where you are in captivity, where sin has dragged you by the nose too. But when you decide to repent like Manasseh, the Bible says the Lord brought him back to Jerusalem and he restored him to his throne. God will do the same for us. He is going to restore us to our rightful place. Please let us all take comfort in knowing that we serve a God that will be moved and touched by our prayers. Thank you all for watching. Be blessed always. Amen.